NX has several tools that allow you to split or trim or snip surfaces. Now the two tools that I'm going to talk about in this lecture are snip surface and trim surface. In the most basic respect they do basically again the same thing. They trim a surface. But what happens to the underlying geometry is very different. If I look at a standard trimmed sheet, I can specify the target, which is this surface, and I can pick multiple targets, and I can specify my boundary. The area that I selected on, in this case back in this region, is my select region. That is going to be kept. I'll select OK, and what you'll notice is that this area is kept. It is trimmed to this curve and you'll notice the parameterization of the original surface still exists, meaning that this face of the surface has been trimmed back to this curve. I have a curve hidden away. I'm going to unblank it. Let's get rid of that bugaboo. I'll do trim sheet again. I will specify my surface and this time I'll use this boundary. Select OK. And once again, this area was kept. This is trimmed away. So all I've done is I removed a portion of the face on that surface. With snip surface, it does something a bit different. With this, you specify your target. You'll notice that I can only specify one target. And then you can specify your boundary. Once I specify my boundary, you'll notice that the parameterization of the original underlying surface changes. What's happening is, as the surface is being snipped to the new boundary, it's reparameterizing the entire underlying surface to basically create a new surface in this new position. Here you can see deviations to the original underlying surface. Those deviations are saying, at this edge, we have pulled away, and this is what the new surface is going to look like. Here, I can go under refit control and I have by default have keep parameterization, meaning it's going to keep the control polygon the same number, same count, same everything. I can change this to degree and patches or degree and tolerance. I'll say degree and patches. If I go up to a 3 by 1, you'll notice that my tolerances tighten up considerably. If I go up to a 4x1, even tighter. So as I increase the degree of the surface, I also decrease the amount of tolerance or variance from the original position of that surface. Now I have a far more complex surface, but in this case this may be what I need. I need to snip the surface back to this edge and hold this edge to within, in most cases, 0 0.01 is uh, very acceptable. If I go into settings, you'll notice that I have divide. If I turn on the divide tick mark, what it will do is it'll divide the surface, basically keep this side and keep this side. And then I also have edit a copy. With edit a copy, it will actually copy the original surface and then do the snip to the copy leaving the original alone. So I'll change this back to keep parameterization. If I want to I have this option here for switch region which is going to split the other side and what you'll notice here is the tolerance values vary depending on the side of the surface you're going to keep. Again it's readjusting the control polygon reparameterizing the control polygon and keeping it as close as possible to the original surface. Let me undo that. And one of the limitations of snip surface, it's not really necessarily a limitation of snip surface, it's a limitation of math, is that I cannot snip a surface with a hole built into it as such. This is not parametrically rectangular. 
And because of that, I am unable to snip that surface to this boundary. So for holes and things of that nature, it, you're just not capable of doing said thing. You cannot parametrically modify this polygon to fit into this circular shape. The only thing that'll work is a trim sheet. Some of the other options I have is snip with another surface, snip with a plane, snip with isoparm. So basically, uh, this would be an intersection curve, again, an intersection curve to a plane instead of a surface, and a, an isoparm is just that, an isoparm on that surface. So when I, in this case, switch to isoparm, you can see I can drag to which isoparm that I want in either direction. And as I drag that isoparm, you'll notice that the surfaces refit along the entire, or parameterization of the surfaces refit along that entire um, modification. So those are the differences between snip surface and trim sheet. There are other trimming options that NX has, some, something called trim and extend, and this will be another lecture all to itself, but again, it's a very powerful tool and it, um, it allows us to use multiple surfaces to create corners or extend surfaces. So very powerful tool, that's a lecture all to itself. So trim sheet allows you to trim the face of the surface, keeps the parameterization of the original surface. Snip surface removes the parameterization of the original and readjusts the control points to fit to whatever it is you're, you are snipping to. Again, snip surface will not allow non-parametrically shaped objects like this curve on surface, which is uh, a circle or closed off circle.